Now, the accounting for stock splits and stock dividends. Now, the problem we're about to work now, we're going to go through a, a stock dividend payment and we're going to see what happens if we treat it as a stock split and then later on the problem we're going to ask us what happens if, if it's treated as a stock dividend instead of a stock split. And of course they're looking for the, uh, the, uh, the accounting uh, implications of these kinds of things. Now the problem reads this way, it says Mammoth Corporation is considering a three for two stock split. It currently has the stockholder's equity position shown below. Uh, the current stock price is $120 a share. The most recent period's earnings available for common stock are included in retained earnings. A part, what effects would, uh, on Mammoth would result from the stock split? Now, this is the A part of this problem. And first of all, how many shares, additional shares, are you going to have? What's going to be the increase? Well, a three for two stock split, three divided by two, is 1.5 or 150%. So you're going to have a 50%, 150% uh, increase in the number of shares outstanding. And indeed, one question is, what are going to, what's going to be the new number of shares outstanding? Well, they had 100,000 shares. Multiply that by 1.5, you find that they're, after the stock split now, they're going to have 150,000 shares outstanding. What happens to the common stock account? Well, this is a stock split. None of that changes now. What changes with a stock split is the number of shares outstanding and the par value of those shares. So uh, the common stock account, the, the total now, stays the same. What happens to par value? Well, now you have $300,000 in the common stock account, not spread over 100,000 shares, but spread over 150,000 shares. So you're going to see the par value is going to change, go from $3 a share to $2 a share. $2 times 150,000, the new number of shares outstanding, that gives you the $300,000 in common stock, uh, in the common stock account on the balance sheet. 